So let's say you've got something on your barrel like a flash hider or a muzzle brake, and then you want to clean your gun using a solvent trap. Up to this point, you'd need to remove the object on the muzzle and replace it with an adapter. Well, hey, Infinite Product Solutions advertises a combo muzzle brake solvent trap adapter, and you don't have to remove anything from your barrel. A review of their prototype is coming up next on Mostly 22LR. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22LR. Here's a unique prototype muzzle brake from the folks at Infinite Product Solutions. What's unique about it are these external threads that perform double duty as a solvent trap adapter. So we're going to put it through some tests. At this point though, I want to say that this prototype came to me unbidden for review. I didn't ask for it, we didn't talk about it, they just sent it to me with an email saying, hey, would you put this through its paces for us? So personally, I think I'm under zero obligation to them. This was unbidden. I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are. Now, their email didn't exactly say this is a prototype, but it did say that they want to get it into full production, uh, which I guess means that this is a prototype because there's no engraving on it to tell me the specs. If you don't know it, uh, Infinite Product Solutions now engraves their product line so you know what it's for and what it fits. I'll include full details and links uh, in this video's description to make it easy for you to order one uh, when it goes into full production. And no, I won't make any money when you click on those links. When I got the email from Infinite Product Solutions, I wrote back to learn if it was coming with a jam nut. You need one to align the ports on a muzzle brake. Uh, and I didn't even see any jam nuts on their website. Eh, sure enough, they said no. So I had to order one out of my own pocket. Uh, luckily, you can get a jam nut on Amazon Prime for uh, a decent price. But it's not here yet because I allowed for non-Prime shipment. Because I wanted to get that dollar off coupon from Amazon. Yeah, I'm horny to review this thing, but I paid for a jam nut out of my own pocket, man. So what I'm really saying here is I'm filming this video partly out of sequence, just like a Hollywood director does. Another thing that it's missing is a uh, thread protector for the external threads that you see here. If I were to be carrying this around uh, in a uh, forest or um, uh, just out plinking even, and this was on my barrel, I really want these threads to be protected. And again, Infinite Product Solutions does not have a thread protector for this external uh, part right here. I did email them and I asked them uh, what's up with that, and they did write back and they said, yeah, we know about that, we're working on that. So. Again, what I think from that email that they sent me, that reply, again, I think that this is a prototype. They're probably, this is a, I believe it's 13 sixteenths uh, by, um, I don't know exactly what it is. I know what it fits, but... <laughs> But again, uh, this lacks a uh, thread protector right here, and it definitely needs one. Maybe they would sell it uh, as, a, as an add-on, you know, like you would put this in your shopping cart, and they would go, hey, would you like to buy the thread protector? I'd be okay with that. Uh, same thing with the, uh, with the jam nut. Hey, would you like to buy a jam nut to go with that? Yeah, if you want to sell those separately, Infinite Product Solutions, I'm okay with you doing that, but you've got to offer... Uh, an external thread protector at the very minimum. You need that for this. Now, the Psionics channel offers a short, excellent demo showing the difference between a flash hider versus a muzzle brake. And I say this for a very important reason. You see, Infinite Product Solutions advertises this as a muzzle brake, so we're going to test it as one. But when you look at their website right now as I film this, savvy shooters will notice that many of their muzzle brakes are really flash hiders. So be aware of that as a consumer. Now here's something that I've been wondering about. Uh, if you have a jam nut, which this one did not come with, then you can adjust the position of your muzzle brake over the crown in order to tune your rifle's harmonics. Uh, this makes me wonder if I can tune a Marlin XT-22 or a Ruger 10-22 so it will shoot CCI Stinger ammo more precisely. Uh, legendary shooter David Tubb has a great video on tuning and harmonics with uh, uh, muzzle uh, adapters if you're curious. Okay, so before we demonstrate its dual functionality as a solvent trap adapter, I want to mention the fact that the product I'm reviewing costs a few dollars. Uh, as in a lot of few dollars. The Shoot to Kill Outdoors channel has a video that demonstrates a 97 cent solution to this problem. Uh, if you want to trap the solvent spray while cleaning your guns, 
regardless whether you want to do it on the cheap, you really should check out the Shoot to Kill Outdoors alternative. There are multiple ways to keep your indoors clean while you're cleaning your gun. Now, if you own multiple rifles like I do, and they have uh, some have uh, threading and some are uh, smooth barrel uh, ends, then you must take two thread specifications into account. Not one when you buy something like this. Uh, that is a solvent trap adapter. I did a short video on this. It's under three minutes, and it teaches you to choose the right external threads, external threads, for these adapters. So just click on the link and go watch that video real quick. Cleaning this device is probably going to be a breeze. It definitely weighs like steel, which means you can put it in a sonic cleaner. Or you can just clean it the old-fashioned way like I do. Dude, you, you could go to town on this with Safari Land Break Free Powder Blast if necessary. <laughs> and, of course, we can't go on without mentioning the elephant in the room. Some folks here in the United States will watch this and say, Oh, good grief, that's an illegal suppressor. Uh, look, BATF isn't going to break down my door. Uh, here's a link to a video where I quote BATF on the legality of this product. There is a long answer here, but the short answer, the short answer is yes, you can own and use these products for lawful purposes in the United States. BATF said so. Okay, so let's stop there for part one. Uh, in part two, we'll clean a Ruger semi-auto to see how this device performs as a solvent trap adapter. Uh, in part three, we'll shoot that Ruger semi-auto to see how this device performs as a muzzle brake for 22 lr And in part four, which I haven't yet filmed, uh, we'll shoot an AR-15 centerfire to see how this device performs as a muzzle brake for NATO 556. Uh, those videos will be coming out immediately. They will not be scheduled for a regular Wednesday release. So stay tuned as we continue to review what is almost certainly a, uh, a prototype muzzle device. Until then, I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.